You should we invite Edward to the christening tomorrow? We saw lovely at dinner the other night. Ain't that fun? I think I got myself a man crush. <laughs> hmm? Should my ears be burning? Uh, no. You are not the only fine specimen of manhood around here, you know. <laughs> um, but, by the way, thank you for letting us use this place tomorrow. Uh, well, don't thank me yet. Nana asked me to pass this on to you. It's um, Carmina's christening gown. And guess what? It lights up. Wow. Oh, bless <laughs> Marlena. But strangely, we've already got DJ covered, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, and he's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Very diplomatic. There was a lot of fella doing anyway. He's all right. I'm just a, a bit worried because he should be rolling over by now and he's not managed it yet. I already told you, we are seeing the spiny bit for the specialist next week. Stop worrying. Yeah, I'm sure DJ will smash it with a warm, solid family around him. I bet he can take anything on. Sorry, guys. Hey, Nana, yeah, they loved it. It's true what he says, you know. I never felt more lucky to have a family like ours. Mm, me neither. Oh, no, just stay. They're at the dog setting up for DJ's big day tomorrow. Have a coffee, sort your head out. Why are you still being so nice to me? I thought that I shouted, you don't need that. You couldn't be more wrong. I need you more than you'll ever know. And not just as a mate or a friend with benefits. The first thing I think of when I wake up is it's the same as last thing at night. And it's you. I just don't mean that. God, for crying out loud, will you just let your guard down and trust me? I mean every word of this, and just because you got drunk today. You got drunk? <laughs> no, it, well, it, it was just a blip. He, he, he was upset about Brody and the baby. And... Oh, she just threw in the towel. You gave up, Dad, why? And you said you was going to be better. Why do you keep doing it to me? I'm sorry, all right? You, you shouldn't have to spend the rest of your life waiting for my next failure. Neither should you. It's best if I just get off. What are you going to do, go to the boat and raid the bar? Oh, mate. I'm going to go and pack my bags. Get out of your life for good. <laughs> Wait, you can't just leave. I, I, I didn't mean what I said. I think you did. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for to give your kid up for adoption. The only father figure you've ever had in your life is me. I was never there for you when you needed me. But I, I let you get hurt in the worst possible way. I was supposed to be protecting you. I was either hammered or getting thrown inside. And every time I see that look of disappointment in your eyes, it reminds me. The damage is done. There's nothing left for me here now. Luke, that isn't true. Didn't you, didn't you hear what I said before? Cindy, you're better off without me. I'll only up hurting you as well. I mean, look at Mandy. Her life improved when I wasn't in it. She's got Darren and DJ. Look, everyone's moved on, all right? I've got nothing left here now. Yes, you have. Dad, you need to know the truth. The truth about what? That Darren isn't DJ's dad. You are. Hello! <laughs> you know what? I never thought I could be this happy again. But I am. Thanks to you and this little fella. Mm -mm. Daddy's been a big softie. Mm. Now we better get you home. It's a big day tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs>